Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Dre, and I'm gonna be playing All Points Bulletin. For those of you who are not familiar with the game, it is an MMO. It's action oriented. It's a shooter. Um, it has a lot of potential, but it really needs a lot of work. I think that the uh, developers could spend a few more months to a year working on it to try and polish it out. Anyways, this is the character that I made last time, and let's jump into it. Now here I can select where I want to go to. There's the social district, and then there are the action districts. The social district is where you're going to be pretty much taking care of having your character uh, get decked out in clothing, put tattoos on them, you know, decals all over their clothes, all over their cars. Uh, you can actually make custom music for when you kill people, it'll play. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty robust. Uh, the way that the game is built, you actually are able to purchase a certain amount of time for, say, $7. And uh, that time is only going to be used whenever you go into an action district, like the financial district or the waterfront district. Otherwise, in the social district, you have an infinite, am infinite amount of time uh, to run around there and just customize things. Now, with that said, in order for you to get anything to customize, for the most part you need money. And in order to get money, you kind of need to do missions in the action district. So you're going to be consuming whatever time allotment that you have, so make the best of it. You can also pay, I believe, just the standards $15 a month and then get unlimited gameplay time, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the social district first, that way uh, I can show y'all what's going on there. Now this game definitely does have a sense of style to it, but uh, it, once again, Graphically, the characters do look pretty nice, but the environments are rather bland. So you can pick a spawn point in the map for the district, and it'll just throw you in there. And the way that the servers are set up, there are um, individual, I guess, instances where you join, uh, I believe, 99 other people, um, up to 99 other people on your side of the law. And so right now, one thing I want to point out is that you see this dude here with the green hat, the t-shirt, jeans. That is not the character I created. That's a placeholder. So you are going to end up seeing a lot of placeholders all over the place because the game has to load all of these custom graphics for all these different characters. And, you know, it, it's almost like the infrastructure for their servers is not up to par for what they're trying to execute here. And so you end up constantly running into these placeholders. I mean, look at this. Oh, look, this guy looks you know, how he wants, but all these other people are placeholders. And I don't have a slow system by any means. I have a quad core, I have 4 gigs of RAM, a 4870 graphics card uh, with ATI, so I mean, and I, my internet connection is pretty good too. I have uh, a broadband connection through uh, my provider, and they're, they're supplying me with a, a 15 meg down, so, you know, I should be fine. But yeah, it's it's obvious that their servers are having a hard time and I, I don't even think this game's truly taken off too far. Now in the social district obviously you're gonna have uh, the division
between the criminals and the enforcers. When you hear them over here, this is an enforcer location. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to be able to tell that. I guess the coloring? Yeah. I mean, that, that's blue. Blue normally means good. And that's red over there. Red usually means bad, but I, I don't know. I guess that's it. So, since I'm not allowed in there, I'm going to go try and see if I can figure out where I can actually go to to customize, because right now running around in these sweats is kind of lame. Okay, this looks like it might be the right place. This here is a vending machine for ammunition. Uh, if you've ever played Borderlands, then you have experience with vending machines that dispense ammunition. Except Borderlands are much more interesting than this. I mean, look, look at the textures. Look at the environments. It's so bland and it, it if you see here the uh, the skipping that was going on that was me lagging in the game anyways guys check back next time for part two where I will be showing a little bit of the customization later